Hi friends, in this demonstration video about home automation based on Raspberry Pi 4. Before I start, I show you the material which I used. So as we see here, we have a Raspberry Pi 4, a relay with two channel, 5 volt to 250 volt connected to a fan and we have a light the red led represents a heater a temperature sensor LM35 connected into Arduino because it has an analog input and write the result of the temperature into serial port the Arduino connected into Raspberry Pi through an USB I do this because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have an analog input I try to control the appliances using the desktop application it's built using Java language so let's take a look about the script which I used. As I told you, I built the application using Java language. So this is the frame. So this file contains all the scripts which I used. You will find this script below the video. So let's take a look. This file for sensor LM35 for Arduino as we see we recuperate the analog input using a zero pin this file for the Raspberry Pi and this file for desktop application So let's connect into Raspberry Pi using VNC Viewer. I connect remotely using this application. This is the IP of the Raspberry Pi connection. I install Kali Linux into Raspberry Pi. Don't worry, the same thing for the Raspbian. I copy this file into Raspberry Pi. This is the file. Here we need the IP address of desktop application. So the IP of desktop application this is and the IP of Raspberry Pi this is. This is not important, you can delete this line. Save. Here maybe the program executes an error. The error is the serial port library doesn't exist. So to install it, just write this command. So this is the command to install the serial port. I am install library. See the desktop home automation. So this is the script. So let's take a look. Py server file. So this is content this is the command which I sent into Raspberry Pi from the desktop application so let's run the program Python 3 Pi 
welcome in application automation home based raspberry waiting for connection so let's execute the desktop application Here we need the IP address of Raspberry Pi. So this is the IP. Let's turn the light on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Let's start the fan. Let's turn it off. Turn the light off. Let's start the heater. The red light. The fan on. The heater on. Let's recuperate the temperature and a 35 sensor. So this is the temperature 18.55. Through this button I can close the main thread into Raspberry Pi. Close home. As we see. In the next video, we try to control the appliances using mobile Android application. So we will meet in the another video.